Hey guys, it's early morning, and I uh, I'm down by the beach, uh, beach I was at last week uh, here in um, in Rhode Island, in uh, Warwick, Rhode Island. The place is called Oakland Beach, and uh, I, I found a spot I really liked. And last week I just had an amazing time uh, early morning, so I figured I'd come down again and try out one of my favorite antennas for DX, and that is the Ribicoff antenna. Some of you have probably seen I've done quite a few videos on it. A couple years ago I discovered this antenna. And I did a video on it. I'll put a link below to that if you really want to know the history and all about the antenna as far as how it was developed. Um, I'm not going to go that deep today. I'm just going to tell you it's uh, 7.6 meters vertical. Uh, it's about 25 feet uh, with a 4 to 1 on it at the bottom. Ground plane underneath it, whatever you can do. I'm by water, so I'm going to do my uh, single wire uh, towards the water there. But um, really cool antenna, the Ribicoff antenna. And it's really gotten popular over the uh, past couple years, especially uh, since I, I did that video a couple years ago. There was another uh, Tim, G5TM. He had done one right before me. And it seems like uh, it, that antenna just took off. A lot of people were building it. So... Uh, like I said, I'll put a link below to uh, my original build, and I've done it quite a few times since then. I've actually even done this out on a fishing pier uh, and uh, on the Outer Banks of North Carolina and had some pretty amazing uh, results with it as well. But here I am on the beach in uh, Rhode Island. Let's put this thing up and have some fun today. The Ribicoff Antenna. Stick around. Okay, it's very early and it's a little windy out here. 5.30 a.m. our time here. There's the Ribicoff antenna. That's uh, my 10 meter DX Commander Expedition pole uh, in the ground there. Let me show you something. Uh, I use a piece of PVC pipe, a little over a meter long and I drive it into the sand. One thing I have noticed about the beaches here in Rhode Island compared to Virginia and North Carolina is there's rocks under that sand. Sometimes it's got a takes a while to find a spot to get it in but there it is so i have my uh ldg 4 to 1 and that is 20 gauge wire that i have 7.6 meters or roughly 25 feet in the air and um i also have i just have one counterpoise i'm going to use a uh, little over five meter what we americans call 17 feet it's a little bit more than five meters um this is uh, that's called greenwich bay leading out to that is narragansett bay here in rhode island and uh, like i said it's early 5 30 a.m i'm crazy and you can see the clouds here a little slight chance of rain i don't care i'm playing radio 50 feet we're on the american measurement here anyway of uh coax leading up to the jeep here got the beach and i got the place all to myself let's go see how this works and here inside the jeep i have my uh Sangu g90 connected to my little small uh six amp hour lipo 4 battery here so um there it is in the seat next to me let's uh let's see how we do this morning with just 20 watts uh playing a little try to catch a little dx with the ribicoff antenna and about 20 meters, this is the time of day for 20 meters. Uh, if you guys are, are kind of new to DXing, uh, early morning on 20 meters here in the United States uh, really means uh, some pretty cool DX over towards uh, New Zealand and Australia. Let's see if we can make a contact. QSL, QSL, the name is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. Portable in Rhode Island, uh, USA, uh, portable on the beach with just 20 watts there. Good to get you this morning. Oh, yeah, hello there, Walt. Uh, I'm with you, I'm before, uh, Kilo 4, Golf, uh, sorry, Oscar Golf Oscar. This is 80 Kilo 3, Echo Yankee. Your 5 and 6 there, Walt. 56, name here is Rob, Romeo hey rob that's awesome you're five seven here wonderful audio um yeah first contact of the morning too it's so great i got up this morning i said you know what i'm going to go down to the beach and uh throw a vertical in the air it's uh the ribicoff antenna i built one this morning and uh this is absolutely here on 20 meters my first contact just got the radio on and heard you call in cq there so uh it's so awesome thanks for coming back to me my friend Uh, over the Pacific to uh, to your part of the world. 
K4 OGO, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, there. Back to you. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Is this Mr. Walk? QSL, QSL, um, um, you're about a 5'7 into Rhode Island this morning. I'm portable on the beach in Rhode Island. Roger, Roger, portable on the beach. Hey, I'm a, I'm a subscriber of one of my favorite channels. And uh, I run a couple of your, uh, your antennas. As a matter of fact, I'm running the... Uh, Oh, that's awesome. You're doing well. Yeah, you're sounding great. I have the uh, Ribicoff up. I built a Ribicoff this morning, uh, 25 foot wire with a uh, four to one. I'm sitting in the Jeep, literally uh, 25, 30 feet from the uh, water here up in Rhode Island. So we know this antenna works good on 20 meters. Let's try 40. Let's see how 40 is. Um, let's get a little later in the morning. I've been kind of chasing some DX on 20 uh, and some POTA calls. Let's go check out the 40 meter band. Yeah, you are 5555 five, five, five into Rhode Island. I'm portable on the beach, 20 watts here in Rhode Island. 5-5 five, five from you. Good stuff. Are you making a trip? You're 5-5 five, five here for sure. Thanks so much. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. 73. Well, I saw one uh, Poda uh, uh, spot on 40, went for it. A lot of nests and check-ins. And then this this is 7200 right here. I got, I got some guy, like, broadcasting music on it. This guy's talking. Th this is what 7200 on 40 meters is like in the United States, guys. People talk about 11 meters and whatever. This is garbage. It's ridiculous. All right, 15 meters. Let's give this a try. Kilo 4, Oscar, golf. Oscar. Yeah, Oscar, Germany, Oscar, Roger. You're 5 9, you're all with Juliet. Uh, QSL, QSL, you're 5 9, 5 9 into Rhode Island, USA. Okay, no, uh, North America, Roger. Roger, Roger, Rhode Island, North America. Yes, this is Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Victor, Kilo 5, UK, do you copy? Yeah, I do. And thank you, you have a strong signal here. I am f uh, tw 20 watts, 20 watts portable sitting on the beach in Rhode Island, and you are 5'9", five, 5'9", nine, five, nine. wonderful signal here. Yes, the call sign is Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Yeah, okay, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Uh, you're 5 and 5. I've, uh, I've moved my antenna around to face you. So, fun morning for me of uh, playing a little radio here. Um, that ribbon golf antenna is a really cool antenna to play with. If you've never made it, I, I, it's easy. It's easy. It's just f tw we'll, we'll speak American here. 25 foot of wire straight up with a 4 to 1 on on. That's all it is. And a ground plane. As you can see, I just, with when I'm next to salt water, it doesn't take much. One wire, one single wire right into the water, and it rock and rolls. It really does. Um, if you're an antenna experimenter, I highly suggest trying this. Yeah, you need a tuner. Yeah, this thing doesn't, uh, it's not a resonant antenna. It's kind of in the random wire family. Um, 
but even without um, without that, it's not much to tune it in. I mean, it's roughly most of the bands. I've used this thing now from 40 all the way to 10 meters, and uh, it's around at its worst uh, two two point two and a half to one or whatever. But you hit this thing with um, you know with a, with a tuner, and like I use my G90 in the ATU, and it really just it, it, it's it's a great antenna. It's a lot of fun. Um, do some research on it. There's some people out there that make uh, uh, something similar. I know the uh, the cars, the uh, coffee and ham radio guys are making the the Poseidon antenna. It's the Rivikoff, same thing. If you built one of those, try it out or buy one of those from those guys if you don't want to do it. But like I said, all it takes is a four to one and a piece of wire, and that's what I do. Just a 20 gauge wire, and I'm up and running. Fun, fun morning of portable though. And if you like this and, and portable ops, that's kind of what I do. And just I get up and say, well, what antenna am I going to build today? And um, that's what I did this morning. I, it, it was raining when I got up, and it cleared out. And it is a pretty much a really beautiful morning here in Rhode Island. Now I might go back and play a little bit with the camera off and have some fun with it. But um, great antenna, I highly recommend it. Hey, please like and subscribe. This is what I do. If you uh, if you enjoy just um playing ssb ham radio on hf um that's my channel so um hit that uh, subscribe button i've got a lot of guys i see that watch my they, i must come up in their feeds but i look at the uh, the ratio on my uh, analytics and uh, i have more people that aren't subscribers watching my videos so um just it doesn't take much just click it and you won't miss anything till next time i'm walt k4 ogo 73 my friends